So I thought this was new, Fenty Eau de Parfum by Fenty Beauty, when I received this last week. Um, it's not new, it was out in August 2021, uh, and then it sold out, as you'd expect with any sort of Rihanna product, and then it came back in December, and then it sold out, but now it's back and it's being sold worldwide. Um, I think this is actually now gonna be like a solid, firm, always on product. So I was intrigued and I thought, I'll give it a go and I will review it for you. Now, um, I was, I think I, the things I was expecting, sickly sweet, uh, hugely feminine, whimsical, not great in terms of performance. That's just because I, that's kind of what I think in terms of celebrity brands. Um, and I think anyone that was an artist or a pop star or an actor who then is creating products, it can't be that good. But I think what Rihanna is doing is, uh, I mean, she's been out of the sort of music world for quite some time and she's really put everything into Fenty Beauty. And I think what she's doing feels very, um, very true and it feels like it really has a sense of purpose, which I like. So, um, this is £145. Some of you may have just clicked off there and thought, absolutely not. £145, 75 mils, I'll link it. It went up on manfromself.com, my website, earlier in the week as a, as a review, so you may have seen it. Um, that's always got the notes, it's got the bit that I say, it's then got kind of what the brand says, and then it will give you the best prices wherever I can find those. So this um, is, is not cheap. I, I think looking at it, it's it's gorgeous. When Rihanna was interviewed about this, she said that the bottle very much encapsulated her. It was um, translucent, transparent. We can see through it. And she wanted that to almost be like a window into her. Also brown, the brown bottle, she said it was like a skin. I really like the idea behind that. Feels like it's got a real focus. And even if we weren't on about that, I think the bottle looks great and it very much feels like the start of a fragrance journey. You can almost imagine like the sort of Tom Ford private blends, you'd have all of these or the Bulgari um, Le Gem, you know, those gorgeous bottles. So you can imagine this kind of expanding into it. Now, I have been wearing this for a week now and I have been, um, I've been pleasantly surprised. Now, a lot of people would say, and, and I'm sure you might be thinking, is this just for women? Is this for guys? Fragrance, whatever you think, whatever the marketing, can be worn by anyone. So if you like something, go wild and wear it. It will work differently with different skin types, depending on how warm you are. I also think that kind of how you hold yourself in your own personal style will dictate how someone kind of smells that on you. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? But this has an initial uh, opening of really vibrant fruits. There's tangerine, there's, oh, there's Amazon. Hello, I've got hair products coming along. Oh, subscribe if you're new to this. This is Man From Self. I do hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, and fragrance. There you go. Um, Alexa, do not disturb. Okay. So with that sort of real pop of the blueberry and the tangerine, there is all this energy and all this movement. But the star of the show in this really does lie in the heart, and that is Bulgarian Rose. Now, Bulgarian Rose, I always think of as a really full-bodied rose. It's a full bouquet of roses, something which is, it's, it's not a freshly picked rose or cut rose, it's not a rose that's closed, it's a rose that has been sat for some time and has really opened and is really in its sort of, um, at its peak in terms of the scent and in terms of kind of like its life cycle. I, I think it smells absolutely beautiful. This reminds me, um, this reminds me a little of um, Tom Ford uh, Rose Prick. There to me is this sort, almost like a sort of caramel glaze across the top of this. So just a little sweetness. There's also musk in this, this patchouli in the base and it's got this, I, I think, this perfect balance of feeling, um, of feeling fairly raw and having this sort of intimate sort of feeling to it, something quite sexy, something a little, um, something a little mysterious about it. But then at the same time, it's got all this confidence, all this personality, this huge persona that kind of just, just sort of blankets you in something which I, 
just think is absolutely beautiful. Now, the perfumer with this is Jacques Cavalier of Bellatrue, who works for LM LVMH, uh, Moe Hennessy Louis Vuitton, a huge multinational conglomerate who have loads of luxury brands within it. And he has created fragrances for brands like Azaro, um, the Le Gem ones that I was talking about from Bulgari, there's also some Calvin Klein, um, there is some Maison Margiela, there is a Tom Ford, uh, Noir de Noir. So he has created these huge, like block-busting fragrances. So when I smell this, I definitely get some of those sort of DNA in this. There's that sort of artisan Maison Margiela sort of storytelling which is in this. There's some of the sort of sweetness that you might get in a Tom Ford. I think it's certainly that if we like had a sort of a spectrum of commercial designer in here, a niche in here, I think we've got this perfect balance of it feeling um, really very accessible, yet having something which feels premium and um, a little, a little, what am I trying to say here? Uh, it's it's something that you want, oh God, I, I, I don't know what I'm thinking of. It, it feels like the exclusivity, you're feeling like you kind of got that, that balance to it. This, I think, um, for men, I think won't be an easy wear. I've enjoyed wearing this, but I think I'm probably, in terms of like a gender spectrum, probably a little bit more fluid. I mean, I definitely would say I'm a man and I, I think of myself more in that space, but I like having things which you would think of as being slightly more feminine, something a bit more whimsical. And I feel then, you know, sometimes if I'm wearing something like this, I'd actually want to um, sort of stiffen it up with something like leather, like a leather jacket, all sort of one sort of colorway in terms of what I'm wearing. And then with this, you've kind of just got this almost like a uh, fragrance scarf that just gives you a little bit more of um, a bit more personality and a bit more point of view. But I, I do think some guys might struggle with this and think there's absolutely no way I can wear this. Whereas I think a lot of women will love this. Uh, and I do think if you kind of go down that sort of gender role in terms of fragrance, I think it will be slightly more easy to wear. Um, so I, I think this is gorgeous. Um, I think it's really beautiful and I've been super impressed with it. I also think that, where's the lid for this? I also think that this has a, as I said, you know, it has so much mileage for sort of creating this whole Fenty fragrance line. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we had another one this year. I think the bottles are gorgeous, the scent is gorgeous, the perfumer behind this I think is gorgeous. I think, um, Rihanna definitely has kind of like very much set out her stall, which is this is not just another celebrity brand. This is a brand obviously that she's at the helm of, helm of and as creative director is really sort of plowing ahead with this. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. I think it's an easy way. It's expensive. So if you have 145 pounds to splash on a 75 mil fragrance, go wild. If not, get yourself into a Harvey Nicks, have a spray, wear it on the skin, see what you think. Also, if you are a guy watching this or you think there's a guy that you know that would like this, get them to try it. Seriously, I think they might be surprised. And actually, layering this with some of those heavier, oudier scents, I think would be gorgeous. Or then sort of giving it a huge overdose in terms of rose would also work. So there you go. I'm beautiful. Love it. Thank you very much for watching. Have I covered everything? Oh, I should say, um, it is fairly intimate in terms of like projection. It really does kind of like, it's a bit of a nuzzler. Um, I mean, I certainly can smell it because I've been spraying a lot of it. And in terms of the performance on the skin, it's kind of like a moderate. So it's not hugely long, but I think it's good. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do press subscribe right now. Please do press subscribe. Um, 75% of the views here come from non-subscribers. So press it now. Also, I'll give you more on screen and a link to manforhimself.com, my website up there. But until my next new video, bye-bye.